This is uh, Al Melanson, live at the uh, Naples Wall Paint the Town, the 23rd annual Paint the Town, and it's our fundraiser for the, uh, for the uh, Naples Regional Community Arts Council. We ask that folks come and see us here today, see artists that work in various mediums, and also we'll get a chance to bid on the paintings, and to also, uh, you know, watch artists at work, find out about their medium. I see some folks walking here by the lighthouse here. Yeah. And I'll just fish this over. Yeah, there we go. Um, I'm just worried about that. Yeah, watch the, yeah, there we go. We got a press session here, looks like there. So I guess we could line up down the sure. middle. Um, and I will not go over the hole. <laughs> Oh. And then I'm going to move you around. So we're starting on an L so everybody can see me. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so I'll uh -huh. move the line around a little bit. I see that Tammy Andrews Tupper is watching. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Marlene. Ginny Herlock, I saw. We've got people here all along the boardwalk and artists start painting here all day. This is the 23rd annual paint the town and, be sure to come to an apple royal you, you can bid on the paintings as, so as late as so six o'clock bidding's close it's a fundraiser for the Annapolis royal regional so community arts council and, and here's uh, pamela grundy with elsa riley kind of leading the way this just looks like there's gonna be a, a dance of some sort that's forming here and uh, along the boardwalk of Annapolis royal Yeah, the artists are out there today, Ginny, because it's uh, not raining. Yes, there was a pouring rain, but I guess folks took uh, uh, paintings inside and maybe took some pictures of different scenes they wanted to paint because it was hard to, to paint out in the rain. Yes, there was a torrential, not torrential, some parts, but it was really raining steadily. It actually cleared off for the Annapolis, for my graveyard tour last night. I didn't get soaked on, but uh, it was a wet day. But uh, I see that lots of people are lining up for something that's going to happen here. And uh, we've got folks on the boardwalk here, lovely boardwalk that we just renovated last and uh, finished last year for the Canada 150th. And that's the Lighthouse of Annapolis Royal, uh, owned by the Historical Association of Annapolis Royal. We just got it all fixed for 2017 for the 150th anniversary of, of uh, Canada. And we thank everybody who helped us win by voting in the contest, This Lighthouse Matters. There's Laszlo. Uh, hello, Laszlo. I saw your help finishing off there at the end when the last she was walking back home. So you must have had a good breakfast here this morning, Laszlo. You want to talk about the end? And then uh, Randy's giving a little pointer here. There's Sue Tolleston with a camera there. She's looking sharp here this morning. just when we reach that stretch of area where the Yeah, we have a great town. You're right, in Annapolis Royal. There's always something popping up. I was just walking along and so a whole bunch of people coming around, so I figured I better go see what's going on. So, uh, but it's all part of the Annapolis Royal Paint the Town Festival. Uh, it's organized by the Annapolis Regional Community Arts Council. Sue Tileson, that I have a video showing right here next to the blue truck. She was executive director of, of the Arts Council for many years. I was actually the treasurer about 1990, so the council has been long for a long, around for a long time. But there seems to be lining up for some sort of... Uh, activity here so I'll get I can get a prime view of everybody I hope so. and we've got the lighthouse there in the background looks like a perfect stage for a performance of some sort here people are lining up I see music is starting didn't wait long enough he's gonna take two on the music here no problem no we got photos going on here everybody's kind of taking place, a good crowd here at the Lighthouse in the, across from the Royal Bank in the historic town of Annapolis Royal. So this must be something uh, momentous happening here. We'll see what it is. <laughs> now they're laughing, so <laughs> momentous and artistic. We'll have to get it, we'll get a verdict here, uh, see what we can, there, the music is starting. The music is starting. Oh, there we go. And then, Broadway show of some sort. Oh, 
Oh, there looks to me like it might be some sort of moves, impressioning, giving the impression of the artwork, a painting, brush strokes, movement. Oh, great. It's good to see our folks here. I see some of these folks doing yoga in the morning sometimes, but here they're doing a great, uh, great dance here. Walking the line, it's called. Forgot by Pamela Grundy. Hey, Harvey Marco, thanks for watching. Good to see you there. And I see Deb Ryan back there. Sharon Irving Kennedy. And we got the uh, line dancer Michelle Hall is here. And there's Grace Butler dropping her store today. See what's going on there. There's Randy Glenn carrying the music. He's doing a good job on that. And John Milden. Bill Roberts there. And then artists are still painting here. We're walking by historic Tewapskik, these flowing waters, the river. The French called it La Rivière Dauphin, and now it's called the Annapolis River in honor of Queen Anne. Annapolis Royal was the capital of Nova Scotia until Halifax was founded in 1749. And this has been a place of performance in the time of the Mi'kmaq. The Europeans arriving here in the early 1600s with uh, Mark de Scarbo performing the theater of Neptune on these same waters in 1606. So artistic performances are continuing on here in Annapolis Royal. Wonderful place to view the arts because uh, it's uh, a historic community. We even have a uh, big one here that was put up by the Bear River First Nations. Folks are arriving and taking pictures. Quite a scene here along the waterfront. The boardwalk just completed last year. So, coming on. The uh, beautiful Granville Ferry on the other side. In the old days, you used to be able to uh, Take a ferry, cost you four cents to cross the river, unless you were carrying a live pig or chicken. If you had a livestock, it would cost you an extra penny. Forty cents got you to St. John, New Brunswick, and for four dollars you could hop a boat here and go to uh, Boston. So you may find the modern ferries are a bit more expensive than that, but uh, the movement is continuing on here. Boardwalk, mid-tide here today in Annapolis Royal. Our river has about a 29-foot tide. Now, I want to say that uh, right across the street, on our main street, we have the Sinclairine Museum, and uh, then Leo's Cafe. Those are old buildings that were restored during the revitalization of Annapolis Royal in the, early, the late 70s, early 80s. That would revive the town and now brings us to a place where we have performances such as what we're seeing here today. Quite a procession here. We'll follow them along the old boardwalk here. Well, new I should say, but the first one was built in the late 70s. Ann Crossman is uh, watching us from Centrally. She sends a big smile and she sends words of encouragement to the dancers here. We're really putting walk the line. It is a uh, procession that was choreographed by Pamela Grundy. She and her husband Randy Glynn reside here in Annapolis Royal in the summer. I first met them I think it was about 1986 when the Danny Grossman Dance Company did a performance at King's Theatre and they were the principal dancers. Good to see artistic talent from the Toronto area coming here to Annapolis Royal and really they formed a company of angels which are most of these dancers belong to, some of them don't, they're too young, but they've done many performances in the Festival of Dance in Annapolis Royal, so uh, be sure to take place, and some folks here enjoying the procession here, as they're watching home, good to see you. Now we're getting to the back of King's Theatre. King's Theatre was uh, built by Arthur King, the mayor of Annapolis Royal. And it was built in 1921 after his Bijou Theater burnt in the big fire of 1921. And it's on the main street. When I came here, St. George Street is our main street. When I first came here in 1977, it wasn't open. 
was a dilapidated building with curtains sliding out the windows and old Jim Howe used to tell me rats ran through as you were watching movies in some of the old days. But it's all been revitalized and it's a, a big entertainment center now. We have live shows, drama, stage productions. We even get the Bolshevik ballet from Moscow come here, but live stage to screen. They're not actually physically dancing on the stage. And we get the uh, Hollywood movies. We get the King's Theater Film Society movies. If you don't want to comment on the last blow of Batman, you can actually watch artistic movies here in this town. That are documentaries or artistic films, subtitle films that bring you a, a different flavor of what the community has to offer. You can see the group here just seating around the back of the stage. And, uh, nice boardwalk platform here at back of King's Theatre, wonderful King's Theatre on St. George Street in Annapolis Royal. Now, uh, there's a boat being built to the left-hand side here, and that's been done, been done by Michael Gunn, counselor in Annapolis County, but a boat builder for many years, and so it's a, that's a tank of whaler. We hope to have it finished pretty soon so we can sell it and then have another one built. So, a thousand boats have been built on the shoreline here and also in the, uh, on the Bay Shore, so Boat building, boat building is a big part of our community here. It has been, it's less now, but we still have a, a nice boat haul up where we actually, Marine Rail, where we bring people in here, ships and paint them. Paint, they paint the town here this weekend, but we paint ships here from early April to the sometimes end of November. The boat on the ship now is called the Thai Beauty. We have the nice wharf here in Annapolis Royal. Quite a place to spend time. There's Claudia oh, yeah, Day Adam, coming in to watch us. Thank you. And we've got them proceeding now up the main street. We're across from the old post office that was built in 1889. It's now owned by a young couple who moved here from LA. I think the gentleman was from Bear River originally, but there have there's a restaurant at the bottom. They're preparing a flat over there and an artist we'll have a paint studio so that the beautiful place here and then i want to show our rainbow crosswalk that was on for pride week and across the way is the farmer's market every saturday morning well, the biggest farmer's market in nova scotia and i see david whitney there with his shirt here he's got a bunch of antique store there we're going to go now to the main street and uh, they're coming up along the front of the theater Nice procession happening here. And then uh, they're going to be going up the historic St. George Street. It's called La Rue Dauphin. It was French. And it's one of the oldest thoroughfares in North America. When you walk up the street, you're walking on history. And there's again Randy Glenn here on the main street. It's a one way street here, so we don't have to worry too much about the, uh, the traffic. Towards us. There's the procession. Right in front of the Bainton's leather store and the Mad Hatter bookstore. It's actually uh, owned by Councillor Holly Sanford and her husband Paul. He's a fisherman. He goes and fishes, sends most of his works up to Sambro. He's in San in Sambro, but he sends it to China. Fish it, no, not China, but Spain. I'll get it right, Paul. Scotia Bank. We have Nat Towson and Sue Towson taking some photos of the dancers as they're passing by. Nat's got an exposition of, of his work in New York on display in the area, so be sure to go see it. There we go. Folks are passing by here. Thumbs up for all the artists here. There we go. There's Philip Roberts in the blue. He was our mayor for a number of years and the head of the winning company with Brian, sister, sister city in, in France. There, Brian, director, recreation director for the Museum of Canapolis County. There's, uh, there's the Satsuma Gary owner, Sharon Irving Kennedy here, giving the thumbs up to everything. So we're passing by, going in towards the wigwam, because that was uh, the meat from Bay River installed the wigwam here today, or this year actually, and the mayor of the town has invited him to come and do arts and craft and everything. 
And this is a former meat bike camping site. I know that Sean Blanc certainly came here in 1604. It's named the area Port Royal. But the meat mob been camping on these shores for 4,000 years. We found artifacts at Fort Anne that are actually uh, 4,000 years old. So we talk of my ancestors, the Acadians, coming here in the early 1600s. We're newcomers to the area. Looks like they're doing a circle in here to go on towards the, uh, the wigwam. Good music as well here. In. Again, we're on historic Main Street, St. George Street in Annapolis Royal. And there's a... Come into the wigwam area here. That's where... My, there we go. Nice landing area. There used to be a garage here, one by Irving Oil. It was torn down three years ago, so it was in dilapidated and in bad shape. So this has to stay as a ground space for another uh, seven years. Then we can hopefully have it as a, some sort of park or something, green space that will again bring more beauty, vibrancy to Annapolis Royal. So let's have uh, folks on the Vicky Smith is watching as if folks are coming in. They're pretty well finishing the dance here next to the Restaurant Composé owned by Amanda Egley. And the music's off and a big round of applause for all the dancers. And a good, good job was done on this. They should be. That was quite a march. Walking the line by Pamela Grundy. Perfectly timed. The music's over. The last step was taken. I might uh, go walk over here and talk to Pamela for just a minute here because uh, we just uh, got this and... We got all the steps. They're, they're all they're all in step. I watched it. They were all in step. So that uh, if anybody critiques, they don't have to come to me. You know? But Pamela, I was just wondering, what was the inspiration for this walking the line procession oh, that you're doing? Well, in fact, it was uh, a well-known, uh, the late Pina Bausch, German choreographer, who used this device in a lot of her dances. So we changed up the music, we changed up the gestures, but it was really inspired by, by Pina Bausch's choreography. And the, what, the movement, I kind of maybe interpreted it a bit as maybe some sort of brush strokes and artistic. A what, what, what was the movement? Um, because I'm not an artist. Yeah, so I can hardly, so, I can hardly uh, uh, draw a straight line, but so, I mean... you uh, know, you're framing your yeah. picture. Okay. You know, you're like getting the, too much water. You're getting it off your brush. Okay, so you're shake that off. You're taking some of that paint off. off. Okay, and yeah. this is just a fun kind of double perspective. Very yes. good. Well, that was great there. We really appreciate all that and we appreciate the effort. I'm going to go maybe to the newest dancer in this group, Wilfred Allen. Because <laughs> <laughs> so he told me he might be doing something. And you, you're in the, you live on Lower St. George Street, don't you, yeah. Wilfred? I, I do. And if somebody said I was dancing, yeah. should ask what I've been smoking. Oh, okay, I, well, you've been, you've been walking. You were walking and moving. You were walking and moving, weren't you? In an artistic way? I was walking and moving and following the person who was in front of me. Okay. Fortunately, it was a dancer. Yeah, okay. So, oh, Elsa Riley. Okay, very good. Well, Elsa, Elsa, rather than being washing on your deck, you decided you took part in this. You're going to watch it from your deck. So, what, what's your, why did you decide to join this group and do this? today i'm glad to take part in anything that is f-u-n fun. fun well that's what a, that's fun. what annapolis royal is uh, fun and we invite everybody to come down today to a town of annapolis royal historic annapolis royal and partake in the paint the town festival there's over about 80 artists painting in various mediums you can it's a fundraiser for the annapolis regional community arts council and that you can bid on the painting till six o'clock and if there's something you can't live without wilfred Right at the gallery price till five. So thank you very much, everybody, for uh, taking part in this. And we invite everybody to come down to Annapolis Royal and buy some art. Yeah. Yeah. Alan Melanson, closing for the Explorer Guide and Historical Association of Annapolis Royal. Have a good day. Thanks, everybody. That was great. So a lot of you will see again um, at uh,